Amazing. Bacardi rum, 4.1%. Jack Daniels, the bourbon, 4%. That's terrible. They're number three on the list. They're a home, you know, home brand. Captain Morgan, 3.9%. Crown Royal, 3%. And by the way, you know, we Indians like to drink Johnny Walker. I don't know where Johnny Walker is, you know. <laughs> it's In the India. beer, Bud Light is 21.4% of the market. Amazing, isn't it? You just have to look at the Super Bowl and the commercials <laughs> on the Super Bowl to understand that fact. And the regular Budweiser is only 8.9%. Coors Light is 7.6%. And the last one is Natural Light, which is 4.7%. Basically, the recession has not dampened the spirits of people. No, apparently they're drinking more cheap wine. <laughs> That's not necessarily a bad thing. I wanted to, to talk about a couple of health stories that I came across, uh, which, you know, apply, I think, to most of us as Americans, but probably apply to us as Indians as well, because, you know, we need to watch this. But a study of 47,000 Italian adults found that women alone whose diets contained a lot of bread, pizza, and rice doubled their heart disease risk. Uh, and that's because the foods themselves have something called a high glycemic index, or GI, uh, and that's because they release sugar uh, into the bloodstream very quickly, and it causes your blood level, sugar levels to go up and down. So mm -hmm. that's not good for you, and ultimately can lead to heart disease, lead to diabetes, and it especially impacts women. Uh, but the reason I wanted to share this story is because, you know, we eat a lot of rice, mm -hmm. and we eat a lot of bread, and in India, I think... Chapati. Chapati, and we, we are sometimes under the impression that, you know, because it's, it's wholesome and it's wheat flour, that it's good for us. And in general, it probably is pretty good in comparison to white bread. But at the end of the day, if you're consuming a lot of fried dough or pizza-like ingredients, then you're going, your body's not going to take that well. And for women, uh, it's, it's especially uh, uh, an issue. Researchers found that women whose diet had the highest glycemic load had more than double the risk of heart disease compared with those women with the lowest glycemic load. But here's what's uh, really scary about this. They, they did this study with 463 participants over seven years. So if you think about it, in seven years, they were able to measure uh, a doubling of your risk for heart disease based on the food that you ate. So it, it certainly is a, a loud scream, I think, for women to watch their diets, to get out and exercise more. But if you are in the gym and you're a woman, there's another study that says for better muscle tone, you should actually go lighter and repeat. I know most often when we hit the gym with a trainer, he, he kills you at the gym, right, with heavy weights, and you come home recouping for three days. But what, what this study says is it's actually better and smarter to exercise 70, 70 to 80% of your actual ability to lose the most weight and body fat. So in other words, uh, you know, do 10 reps or do 15 reps instead of 8 reps uh, with a lower amount of weight, and that will actually give you better, better muscle tone, and uh, you'll be able to burn more calories. And, and let's face it, I think it's easier to stick to a regimen if you're not killing yourself in the gym every week. I was reading this story in Washington Post how Japanese students have actually declined in admissions in the United States of America. Ten years ago, uh, Japan sent 46,000 students here. Wow. Today, they only sent only 29,000 students. Compare that to India, 60,000 in year 2000, 103,000 in 2010. China, 55,000. Uh, in 2000, 98,000 in uh, 2010. Uh, South Korea was at 55 and now 75. But basically what they're saying is the Japanese don't want to come to the United States anymore because they feel they're grass eaters. That's a new term that has come up, huh. which means we graze at home. There is no stress to learn English. There is no competitive spirit that they got to develop because in, in Japan, the promotions happen if you know the people. Japanese people don't like you to be abrasive or talk out of turn and, you know, know it all kind of person. So that's found upon in Japan. And it's very hard to be humble when you have a Harvard University degree, right? <laughs> so uh, they're not getting promotions. So slowly and slowly, they are trying to reduce the numbers here in the United States. But one of the other things is, that within those last 10 years, Japan has added 200 universities. And their population has gone down. 
So yeah, that might be a better reason they're not coming in numbers, red as China and India are coming out huge. I'm waiting for when uh, the point at which people who have grown up here in this country and so forth, uh, or have a different take on business, if you will, start participating in Indian politics. Think about it. You know, we, as the Indian community here, have taken 40 years, maybe more, 50, to begin to participate in the political process here. And, yeah. and we are starting to do it. We're, we're not... Well, we are know, doing well, though. We are know. doing quite well. Yeah. But